So um, the new research on Parkinson's is uh, really turning heads these days, linking changes in mouth and gut bacteria directly to cognitive decline. Yeah, that's mind blowing. Right, it's like our little bacteria troopers in the gut might actually be sabotaging our brain function, causing memory and learning issues. Exactly. And what's fantastic is that these bacteria um, release toxins that damage gut tissue and may even influence the brain, which makes them potential markers for early detection of dementia in Parkinson's patients. Mm -hmm, that's truly innovative. And using AI for this in-depth analysis, it's kind of a game changer, isn't it? It's almost like having a super smart detective zoom in on these subtle changes before they spiral. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, like the AI is sifting through mountains of data to pinpoint which bacterial changes are the red flags for cognitive decline. Yeah, very cool. But here's something I find interesting. While the study shows a clear link, do we really know if the bacteria cause the decline or if Parkinson's creates an environment for them to flourish? That's a great point. And um, the researchers are still debating that. They suggest, though, that the bacteria play an active role in worsening symptoms, which really opens up right, avenues for intervention. And speaking of intervention, Dr. Saeed Shoei emphasizes maintaining oral and gut health. I mean, it's almost like everyday rituals, good dental care, a balanced diet, maybe even uh, probiotics, could help slow the disease's progress. Exactly. It's like an accessible lifestyle change that might um, really make a difference. Yeah, that's promising. But, you know, I wonder if we're overestimating how much oral hygiene and probiotics alone can do. Aren't there um, multiple factors at play here? True, true. It's not a silver bullet. Mm, indeed. Yet, it highlights our gut-brain connection in a powerful way suggesting that even small interventions might shift the balance in slowing neurodegeneration. And it's kind of wild to think that something as simple as uh, brushing your teeth or tweaking your diet could contribute to managing such a complex disease. Right. It's like a domino effect. Improve the gut environment, and you might just prevent that cascade of cognitive issues. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Overall, these findings really add a whole new layer to our understanding of Parkinson's and remind us that even our tiny bacteria can have um, huge impacts. Absolutely. It's a hopeful step forward, showing that by addressing the micro level in our bodies, we can hopefully make big strides in treatment down the road. Right on. Totally inspiring. So here's to more research, more discoveries, and um, a future where early detection and simple lifestyle changes could alter the course of Parkinson's.